take three or four days off because I lost my voice. And of course, when I was not working, it seemed like so much happened. And I have so much I need to catch up on. First, starting off with Deontay. So Deontay posted on his Instagram stories the other day saying, I had the unfortunate news to announce that due to unfortunate infection slash injury that has kept me out of work for a while, I will not be making it back to Brazil in April as I initially planned. I have to postpone until a later date. I will still return most likely in the summer though. So I'm not sure exactly what happened to his foot. Apparently, this is something that Deontay has been dealing with for a while. He kept feeling pain in his foot, and he kept just like pushing it off and neglecting going to the doctor. And he said by the time he finally did go to the doctor, thank God he went when he did. Otherwise, he could have risked it being a lot worse and maybe even potentially losing his leg. Deontay has a new lady in his life, so he has not posted this girl to his social media page yet that I know of. But this girl has been posting videos and pictures with Deontay left and right. They're wearing matching t-shirts that say, I love my girlfriend. And then she wore a shirt that said, I love my boyfriend. And they did like these little couples TikToks together asking questions like, who spends more money? Who gets mad easier? And apparently this girl is a dancer. She works as a stripper and she's always flexing all this money she makes on TikTok. And she just graduated high school in 2023. So she's about 18, 19 years old. Deontay was born in April of 1987. So he will be turning 37 here in just less than a month. So he's almost double her age. And I mean, I got an age gap in my relationship. But at the same time, like when you're in your teens and you're dating someone in their 30s, I do question how much they really do have in common at the end of the day. And you guys remember Sincere or Sincere? She dated Mark in an earlier season of Love During Lockup. She was the girl who shot her grandma's house up. Well, she has made headlines recently and not in a good way. The New York Post wrote an article about Sensore after she was caught getting freaky with a trans identifying male who was an inmate at the same prison as her. So this trans identifying male was discovered having sex with a female inmate, Sensore, at a Washington State woman's prison earlier this month, according to an incident report. So a corrections officer discovered 35-year-old Brian Kim, who is locked up for murdering his parents and now goes by Amber Faye Fox Kim, having sex with 25-year-old Sensore Marie Norton on March 14th during a routine check at the medium security unit. So according to the article, the incident resulted in an infraction, but a hearing is expected to follow. So according to the report, they say it's against the rules of the prison and the policy engaging in any kind of sexual act with another person within the facility is not otherwise included in these rules, except in an approved extended family visit. So before Kim was transferred to the women's prison in February of 2021, under the State Department of Corrections Gender Inclusion Policy, Kim was incarcerated at a men's facility in the state. So a anonymous Washington DOC employee told the National Review that there is technically no consensual sex among incarcerated individuals, but if they found out that the act was consensual, then this will mean that Kim will get in a little less trouble than he would, but if he was just straight doing this and taking advantage of this girl, then they're going to come down even harder on him. They are currently doing an investigation, trying to get to the bottom of it, and as I talked about in my last video, I was just talking about how Lacey and Antoine reveal that they are currently pregnant with their second child together. And this is going to be Lacey's sixth child. And I was kind of shocked to hear the news because Antoine was literally just arrested in October after he ended up fleeing police and he was trying to run from police on foot and he ended up shooting himself in the leg on accident. And then he got caught with drugs, being a felon in possession of a firearm. And 
and that's the second hit and run he had in less than a year. He crashed Lacey's car in that hit and run, so now they don't have a car. And him shooting himself in the foot, I'm sure he hasn't been able to work in a while due to that injury. So a friend decided to start a GoFundMe for Lacey and Antoine. I shared a screenshot of the GoFundMe towards the end of my last video, but I had already recorded everything like with my voiceover, so I didn't really get to get into the nitty gritty. So this GoFundMe is started and they want to raise $20,000. So far, only one person has donated. The girl who started the GoFundMe, she donated $20, but they started the GoFundMe for rent, food, and monthly bills. And it says, I created this fundraiser to help Lacey, Antoine, and their baby, and their second child who's on the way. And we first met Lacey and Antoine on the show. And throughout the past few years, they've been forced with a multitude of challenges, including but not limited to the death of Antoine's beloved mother, Christy, and legal issues. Adapting to life after prison does not happen overnight. It is a lengthy and complicated proce process, yet as a couple, they have endured the detours on their path to happiness and have remained steadfast in their love. Lacey and Antoine have a beautiful daughter together and another on the way. They are without transportation and struggling to make ends meet. I had told Lacey I'm starting this to help them and she has assured me they'll use every cent towards a new vehicle and for monthly bills. If there's anything you can do, we would appreciate your help. Thank you so much for your time, and God bless for helping a family get on their feet. And first of all, $20,000 for a car. You don't need to spend that much on a car. I went years without a car. If you guys have been following me from the begin, I lost my car and it got stolen. I, well, my fiance got stolen early on, like my first year doing YouTube. And I went like two years without a car. And it was miserable. But once I finally got a car, I had to just do with what I could at the time. I didn't have 20 racks to just drop in a car. And it's like one thing, you know, emergencies happen, you know. Like, if it was for a funeral or something, you know, that's emergency, understandable, go fund me. But at the same time, the reason they're in the position they're in is because of the choices that Lacey and Antoine make. And mainly due to Antoine's choices that he can't stay off the drugs. And I know he's going through a lot after losing his mother. But at the same time, you have a child you need to be strong for. And now another child on the way. And like Lacey, she's making these decisions because she's choosing to be with a felon. I saw someone say it pretty good in the comments. They said, you know, it's expensive to be with a felon. Especially when you're with a felon who isn't ready to get their crap together and I mean a lot of this is Antoine's fault at the end of the day and I hate to say it but it's just going to continue to get worse as long as she's with Antoine and he continues to go down this path it's going to keep getting worse until she loses everything it's probably best they don't have a car right now because Antoine is just probably going to use that car to go drive to the plug and he's just going to put his life and other people's lives in danger like he has been doing. I mean, she shouldn't have let him drive the car the second time after he wrecked it the first time and did the hit and run and got caught with drugs. So, of course, like I expected, this GoFundMe did not get a good reaction. People in the comments said, why is it when some people go on the show, they think it's a free pass to get everything given to them? And someone else said, wasn't he just arrested for age possession? How did he afford that? And someone else said, so instead of getting jobs and staying out of jail and using birth control until you can afford another kid, you ask hardworking people for their money, the entitlement. And another person made a good point. They're like, man, you have a child. Didn't you just get your taxes back? I don't know how old her other four children are, but I know she would have been able to claim Antoinette on her taxes this year. And someone else said, I wish I could give a pecan to this. Go get a job and get some Medicaid for those babies since y'all refuse to work. While I'm driving to work, I see plenty of mothers getting on the bus with multiple kids so she can do it with two. And someone else said, what about the gambling show he was just on as well? Manage your money correct. And I think she might think that Antoine is Mickey. 
I've seen a lot of people mistake Antoine for Mickey Massey, and he's like a professional gambler. He's been kicked out of most of the casinos in Vegas because he's figured them all out. He's literally made millions like in most of his trips he'll go and he'll make like a minimum of a hundred to five hundred thousand dollars in one trip and someone else said the link is missing and someone else said ask we tv for some money you guys got money from doing the show it's all gone someone else said what's this for someone else said y'all gotta work just like us Someone else said, I worked until 38 weeks pregnant with both my babies. Can't believe this. Asking for 20K because y'all chose not to work for it yourself. And I mean, that's just way too much. Like, if you're even going to do something like this, just be like, okay, I'm going to take whatever I can get to get me from point A to point B. Because if you can't afford a cheap car, then I doubt you're going to be able to afford the insurance and the taxes that come along with a $20,000 car. And someone else said, quit having kids if you can't afford them. And someone else said, this won't go over well. And someone else said, I'm without a car too. Lots of health problems and lots of doctor's appointments. But I would never ask strangers for money for a car. It's not a necessity, unfortunately, but I hope you get donations. Lacey was making good money. She was working at a casino and she ended up getting demoted from her position she had been working at for years. And I remember this because she posted the contract where she had the company reach out to her and say, hey, you know, you work at the forefront and due to the position you're in, you're one of the first people that people meet when they come on the job and the face of our company and we don't feel comfortable letting you do that after you were on the show especially being with a man that you're with who's a felon and talking about his crimes so she ended up getting demoted and taking a pay cut due to her decision to do that and I wonder if she's still working there or if she's just not working at all and she's just holding the weight for the whole family since Antoine's currently injured but other people were saying isn't this your sixth kid you're second by him and you haven't learned yet relationships with felons are expensive especially when they keep effing up now add two babies on top of that. He's obviously not working. Priorities, I guess. And someone else said, fastest way for me to unfollow. And someone else said, let the government pay for childcare. You both go to work and then start saving for a car. How about that? And that's true. She can qualify for government childcare right now is she's in the position she's claiming she's in. Because I know from personal experience, because I qualified with my first child. I feel like they don't even really need child care though right now though. If Antoine's still injured to where he can't work, then he should be able to at least watch the child at home. And someone else said he was arrested back in October. I think y'all need to stop reproducing and get your crap together. And someone else said, what happened Lacey? Someone else said, catch the bus. Someone else said, so normal life is happening? It happens to everyone. GoFundMe is for emergencies, not normal life. And yeah, that's just a part of life. That part. That's literally the story of my life. If it's not one thing, it's another. And someone else said, you better learn the bus route. And then someone else said, maybe stop ha having babies with no income. And someone else said, so they just post that they're pregnant again, back to back, a GoFundMe because he's just sitting in county jail. I'm sure he's about to bail out. He's probably waiting for this bail money. And someone else said they knew they were struggling before they decided to have unprotected SEX. And then they said, go get government assistance, and taxes just hit, so you should have got taxes back for the baby you have. That's true, though. Like I said, she also has four other children on top of that. She likely could have got taxes back on. And even just with one child alone, that's at least a cheap car you could have got or at least a down payment on a car. And she just bonded Antoine out when he had a $30,000 bond back in October. So it's a little hard to feel bad for her. You know, there's a reason why a lot of people don't like to date felons because they don't want to deal with the baggage and uh, the ups and downs that come along with it. But she willy-nilly went along with it. And I mean, now she unfortunately has to deal with the consequences. And like I said, I feel like it's just going to keep getting worse as long as she continues to be with him. 
the main thing that Antoine needs right now is rehab because he needs to get his life together for his two children he has well his second child that's on the way right now I just I don't know if he wasn't able to get his crap together for this first child and still isn't taking things seriously then I really don't have much hope that he's suddenly going to change for the next child but that is it for this video guys let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching